Fall is quickly approaching and there's no other way to start this season off than with a simple set. So my aunt came in for a fill in and I had to do a nail replacement. One of her nails had started lifting. She decided to just go ahead and take it off to avoid any bacteria building up, up under the nail. So yeah, we're going to go right on in and start her fill in. The acrylic that I'm using is for, uh, bad enough from Dynamic Nail Supply. My brush is a size 12 brush from Panna. It is linked on my Amazon storefront. The monomer that I'm using for this set is also from Dynamic Nail Supply. I have been trying out a couple of their products and right now I'm loving their monomer and I'm also loving their acrylic. I have been a fan of their nude acrylics for quite some time now. Um, if you guys would love to go over there and try out their products, I definitely will say give it a try. Now, I'm only able to let you guys know what works for me. And when it comes to Dynamic Nail Supply, it works for me. It works for my pockets. It, it just works, you know, especially when it comes to their nudes. You cannot go wrong with their nude acrylic. When doing the fill-in, it's always good to work with smaller beads. Um, you never really want to go in on a fill-in with a bigger bead unless... The client comes in with a set that's older than four weeks. Um, I honestly do not like when clients come in with a set that they've had on for like two months and say, oh, I want to fill in. I prefer to just go ahead and just soak that whole entire set off and do a whole new set than doing a fill in because honestly, you, you're going to have more, you're going to do more work taking off any of that lifting, taking off anything, you know, that may look kind of suspicious, that may cause some damage or uh, cause an issue. So it's really better to just go ahead and do a complete soak off than to sit there and try to take off all of the lifting and, and any issues that you may see and then do a complete fill in and rebalance. It's a lot more work to it. I, I For me, look, I just prefer to just let my clients know, hey, it's better just to do a soak off. And yeah, it, the soak off is going to take a little bit more time, but in the long run, you're actually saving your nails, okay? You're really saving your nails from any more issues or any more damage because keeping those nails on more than um, four weeks or more than six weeks, let's just say six weeks is it, it's a hassle. It's definitely a hassle, and I just prefer to let my clients know up front, anything more than four to six weeks, we need to do a soak off.
The colors that I'm using for this set is Strawberry Wine from b and I love this color. It's great for fall. I'm also using my Gelixir Snow White. Um, one of my favorite white color, uh, white gel polishes. I just cannot go wrong with that white gel polish. Um, so yeah, and for the Bloomy Gel, I'm going to be doing marble on two of her nails. So for the Bloomy Gel, I'm using my Mia Secret Bloomy Gel, which I'm out, almost out of. I definitely need to get some more. But yeah, this set really came out cute, dainty, giving you fall, giving you marble, just, just giving its time. For the, the, for the leaves to fall and for some cool weather because it's been hot outside. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all in the next one.